Namaste. We are here at the center of the center of Nepal, an area known as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. Hello everybody, my name is Julius. In today's video, we will be navigating through the nooks and crannies of Kathmandu to get to and explore Nepal capital's central square and find out why every visit to Nepal must start or end here. Join me as I have to Berber Square, Kathmandu. Let's go! The Nepal series begins now. Nepal is a landlocked country sandwiched between the giant nations of India and China. Despite its size, it is home to a wealth of wonder, starting with the world's highest mountain, the Mount Everest. From Dubai, I flew for about three and a half hours and arrived in Kathmandu, the nation's capital, early in the morning. Just moments after arrival, I already felt the warmth and friendliness of its people, starting with the taxi driver. So what's your name again, sir? My name is Debu. Debu, yes. Julius. Yes. Namaste. Namaste. When do you say Namaste? Namaste means hello. Well, hello. Namaste. Oh, uh, like, like the welcome. Yeah, that's very nice. How do you say thank you? Dani bad. Dani bad. Dani bad. Dani bad. How do you say bye bye? Bye bye means Tata. Is it India the same same? Oh, bye same. Bye. Is it also Hindi? Yes, Hindi also same. Oh. After a quick overview of Kathmandu, I finally arrived at my hotel to freshen up and eat. And shortly after, my friend Yadav picked me up to explore the city in the typical Nepalese fashion on board his motorbike. Yadav, namaste, brother. Yeah, we'll be going to yeah. Durbar Square. Okay, let's go, let's do it. It's Friday afternoon right now. It's rush hour in uh, Kathmandu. We're trying to navigate through traffic as we head to uh, Kathmandu's Durbar Square. And I'm gonna go show you how horrendous traffic is, but if there's a will, there's a way. But this is not for the faint of heart. But join me as uh, we actually um, ride our way to Durbar Square. Let's go. So we're in Lajanbad district right now. Is this a good uh, neighborhood? Is this a good neighborhood? Yeah. Oh, okay. This is a little fancy area. Oh, do we have uh, pickpockets here or no? Which one? Oh, uh, pickpockets. Uh, it can happen. It can but happen. not on the bike. Not on, oh, the... Not on the bike. No, when no, you no. are in the local bus or you are walking in the street. Oh, okay. So it's very important for you to keep an eye on uh, the surroundings, huh? Yeah, well, it's not too bad, but you never know yeah. it might happen yeah. sometimes. Okay, it's not too bad, apparently. No, no, it's not. No, I actually bad. noticed that people are also very nice and friendly and very helpful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Riding around Kathmandu is convenient, but you have to be very careful because we even had a few close calls. Whoa! <laughs> That's too close for comfort. <laughs> wow. Thank God Yadav is a very good driver and is even very knowledgeable about the city of Kathmandu. <laughs> this is fun, man. <laughs> like it. Uh, this is the palace on the right. This, you should do it. Um, uh, royal Palace on the uh, sorry on the left side, uh -huh. the Royal Palace. Uh -huh. uh, well, we didn't have royal, royal. I mean, we didn't have king anymore. I mean, uh -huh. king they are alive, but they are not in the power. Oh, this was the last. So this is the palace. Yes, yeah. Is it open? Uh, yes, but they're using the museum and some government. So office. what is what is the government here? Is this a? Uh... Well, we are in Kyrgyzstan Republic, like multi. Uh, it's a republic. Yes, yeah. What happened to the What happened to the king? Uh, they were not good for the people and country so people demonstrated they got the family oh. and then 
เขาจูวิจินวานจูฮัตติงแต่ช่วยแต่คือวิจินจูเดอะเฟรเดชันดิบับลิกวันวันที่จีบีกัยส์บีกัมเมอร์รีพับลิกอ่าเอเดอร์ I think 15 years, something like that. Yeah, 15, 16, something. Yeah, I can't remember exactly, but something like that. It looks like a. One family are still alive, private, but they are not in Nepal. Are they in exile or they're in they're in Nepal? Yes, they are in Nepal and they are in their private house. I yeah. I see. All right, at long last, we're now reaching Durban Square. Yeah. Durbar Square, or Royal Squares in English, are remnants of three different New World Kingdoms prior to the unification of Nepal, and all of which are now declared UNESCO World Heritage Sites. These are Kathmandu Durbar Square, Patan Durbar Square, and Bakdapur Durbar Square. However, recent events in the existence of all these structures. In April 25th, 2015, an intensity 7.8 earthquake destroyed more than 600 structures and killed more than 9,000 lives, destroying majority of the structure in the city. Until today, the memory of the killer quake can still be seen in its structures, still pending its completion after the pending renovation. Buildings, the palace uh -huh. and temples are being it's under construction now. That's good. Where were you where were you during the earthquake? Oh I was in the FSP I was uh trying to the FSP camp. Oh really? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, we couldn't continue. I mean, we couldn't finish it. Uh, we had to come back because some oh. guest houses were damaged and things like that. Wow. That's when it was it happened. So you just started? Yeah, that was the first day. That it was the first day of the Everest Fest Oh, that's a bummer. I feel bad. What did the people who actually? Uh... Yeah, they supposed to go to the you know festival. Right. And, like, they, they, people they, they, are doing some expedition. They didn't even they didn't like, even reach Namche. <laughs> this used to be a bit. Uh, at the nine story palace, uh -huh. it's the main part of the royal royal, royal palace in Kathmandu. Mm -hmm. So the main thing is there used to be three different palaces in Kathmandu Valley. One was in Kathmandu, another was in Patan, uh -huh. in Ladisur and Bhaktapur. Uh -huh. So there was like Malata and Malata used to rule in three different uh, palaces. Uh -huh. and, then in the, and in the total, Nepal had more than 49 different small states. 49? Yeah, very small, but for some way to be and then, yeah. It was 250 years ago, until 250 years ago. No wonder why I was told that there are about three Durbar Square, right? Yeah, this is what, the Kathmandu Durga Square is one of them. Today, despite so being under reconstruction, the Kathmandu Durbar Square is the center of the city's trade and commerce. religion and culture. So who's this God? Uh, it's called Pal Hoidog, the aggressive image of Lord Siva. This is the aggressive image of Lord, Lord Siva. Siva. Oh. And uh, whenever he need to destroy something, so he will change his image. He can be anything, oh. whatever he likes. What, what and, makes him um, get angrier? Uh, it's something like if demons or some some bad people of the enemies get, you know, some hard time, to give some hard time to the, to the God, goddesses, or some uh, yeah. honest people. If they, don't, and if they don't show uh, respect. Yeah, if they can uh, fight against the oh, bad people, yeah. and then she will need to change the image or the Right. So we will be uh, practicing a ritual um, since I'm visiting just to uh, pay respect to the Hindu god over here. So uh, let me go show it over to you. So first, you do this, and then put it on your forehead, and then ring the bell to show that you're here, and then do a clockwise movement. Oh, and then you ring the bell again. Yeah. 
and even public events such as a WWF style wrestling in Nepal. <laughs> Is there a boxing fight? Looks like. I didn't know that, but it looks like. Yeah, yeah. Maybe yes. wrestling. Oh, wrestling. It looks like. We get the ring, it looks like. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, we can have notes. We have time, so we can have notes. Okay. These are the challenge. Okay. These are the chief. Okay. These are the chief. Mr. Bausa, Kamba. Alright, I didn't see that coming, but it was an awesome surprise about Nepal, isn't it? But the biggest highlight of my visit to Durbar Square was when I met a god. A Nepalese living goddess called a Kumari. Here in Nepal, a Kumari is a living god believed to be possessed by the spirit of the goddess Taliju or Durga. She is selected at a very young age, specifically from the Shakya clan and is revered and worshipped by the Newari Buddhist community and some Nepalese Hindu. And she lives here, at the Kumari God, or the House of the Living Goddess. I was fortunate enough to be allowed to enter the house and see her at a close distance. However, video recording was prohibited during the encounter. But nevertheless, it was an enlightening experience, definitely one for the books. And just like the living goddess of Hindu Kumari, the strength of this country and capital lives on. Hello everybody, my name is Joyous. Join me again next episode as we explore more about this beautiful world. This is IHAP Alan Hopping, Adventure Philippines and Beyond. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>